Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today the 5-4 Florida a and Rattlers travel to take on the 9-0 Bryant Bulldogs. The Rattlers come in with the number one passing attack in the nation. Cody Seymour, 3,200 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, only one interception on the season. This offense is very dangerous and this is probably the toughest uh, test on the season left for the Bryant Bulldogs this year. Joe Corbett, their wide receiver, 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns on 90 catches. Just an unreal stat. And their halfback, 734 yards, 10 touchdowns, only one fumble. He also has 309 yards receiving. So just a lot of targets for this quarterback to throw to. Their offensive line is weak, though. So I expect Reuben Blueberry and Devine Adams to get in there, get some sacks. Maybe uh, Stephon Okafor and Cy Summers get in there, maybe get a couple. Reggie Monroe, their number two receiver, 1,182 yards, nine touchdowns. Doesn't matter what overall the receivers have, they're just all nasty. There's so many receivers, four receivers. Morgan State was their first game, they beat them, then they lost to UAB, and then Bethune Cookman beat them by one point. They beat Penn, lost to William and Mary, lost to South Carolina State by a touchdown, so two of their losses were by one score. Then they went on a three-game win streak here leading up to the Bryant Bulldogs football game. I do have the Bulldogs winning this one. I, just, I think they have too much on offense. Their ground game is too nasty. And I don't think the Rattlers have enough on defense to stop Brandon Allen and A.J. Jordan. But I will see you guys down on the field here in a moment. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And I hope these fans are as bundled up as I am for today's matchup between the Florida A&M Rattlers and the Bulldogs. The season's almost over as these two ACC teams are set to go to battle. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? The whole team is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. Everybody's picking the Bulldogs today. Here is A.J. Jordan. He needs 54 rushing yards to reach 1,000 on the season, and that will make him and Brandon Allen the first set of teammates to rush for 1,000 yards each in a year. Here's Brandon Allen breaking a tackle, gets in the open field up to the 42-yard line. It doesn't matter which halfback they give this ball to. They're, they're both just going to tear the defense up. Here's Allen again, jukes to the outside. He's too fast. Brandon Allen high steps for 20 yards, and the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Brandon Allen's 24th rushing touchdown of the season. And we get to see the fiery offense of Florida A&M here in a moment. Cody Seymour just has a rocket for an arm. And I'm pretty excited to see him toss it. Here he is. Going to throw it right now. And he's picked off by Cy Summers. And Cy Summers returns it up past the 20 to the 16-yard line. That is just Cy Summers' third pick of the year. Returns it up to the 15. And a little bit of showboat. And he's pumped up right now. He knows it's a big game. The Bryant Bulldogs have their division wrapped up. They'll be seeing either Savannah State or South Carolina State in the ACC title game. First and goal, Montanez going to throw it, and wide open in the end zone is Lester, the tight end, for the score. Montanez now has 18 touchdown passes on the year. He came into the game with 1,946 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, 14 picks, 140 yards on the ground, five touchdowns, and he also has fumbled it twice this season as well. On the ensuing kickoff, we all know what's coming, right? We know it. On the return, that's Corbett, Joe Corbett, their star receiver, and he's up past midfield. Rashers, the kicker, drags him down out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. So it wasn't a touchdown, but it was a very exciting return. Seymour going to throw it. No, he's going to take off. He's got the first down. Great run by the quarterback, who's not really known for taking off with it. Seymour will throw it this time, and he finds Monroe for the first down inside the 15-yard line. Now third down and four. 
from the six yard line. Seymour left side overthrows his target. And Florida a and is going to send on the field goal unit. Kick is up and good. It is now 14 to 3 as the Rattlers find the scoreboard for the first time today. AJ Jordan in the backfield. Montanez is going to hand it off to him right up the middle. Oh my goodness, trucking through everybody. That was nasty. Let's take another look at this. Put that in the highlight reel. Wow, broke three tackles. And an Allen with a carry. Left side, taken down in the open field at the 40 yard line. We've seen that time and time again this year. Him getting taken down in the open. And Allen breaks the tackle this time, picks up eight yards. 93 yards today already in the first quarter. Montanez going to throw it. Brandon Allen's wide open in the flats. Breaks the tackle. Nice spin move in the open field. Brandon Allen is gone for the score. His fifth touchdown catch of the season. And that was a vicious spin move. He put on the spin cycle twice right there. You can't teach that, folks. Just pure athleticism. And add another touchdown for Noel Montanez on the year. Now has 19 touchdown passes this season. Second down and seven. The Rattlers went three and out. And this pass is picked off by Gray. That was a really far deflection. And Gray returns it up inside the red zone. Great field position for Seymour to start things off on this drive. 15th pick of the year for Montanez. Seymour to throw it. Right side wide open is the halfback Miller, and he breaks the tackle and gets it up to the two-yard line. Cy Summers on the tackle, his 63rd of the season. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Miller walks in for the score, and that'll make it an 11-point ball game. Bryant still on top, 21 to 10 is the score here in the second. Montanez to Jordan. Right side gets 10 yards, and that, my friends, is going to give him 45 yards. He needs nine more for a thousand. LJ Topher wide open inside the red zone down to the 15-yard line. The big play receiver. He's got over 800 yards receiving. Now Brandon Allen, another spin move, broken tackle. Runs a man over and he's in for the score. What? Wow, 16-yard touchdown run. He's got 25 rush, rushing touchdowns on the season. 30 touchdowns total for him. 25 on the ground, five receiving. What an athlete. Him and MJ Gator Jr. could start in our pro league right now. Here's AJ Jordan, Jukes left side, and he'll pick up 12 yards, and there it is, folks. 1,000 yards for both Bryant Bulldog running backs. They become the first duo in this dynasty to run for 1,000 yards on the same team. Montanez steps up in the pocket, takes off. He wants some rushing yards. He's going to juke to the outside inside the 20-yard line down at the 17. My goodness. Best run of the season for Noel Montanez. He doesn't really run it a whole lot. He goes play action here. Rolls out. Steps back up into the pocket. And he finds Snoopy Tucker for the touchdown. That play took forever to develop. But it worked out in the Bulldogs' territory like everything else has this season. 35-10 is the score. Seymour taking a shot. And he's picked off by Capers at the 42-yard line. So another interception here for the defensive second of the game. Montanez sets up the screen. Snoopy Tucker right side past the 30-yard line and accelerates to the end zone. His second touchdown of the game. Wow. Snoopy Tucker is so fast. He now has five touchdown catches on the year. Seymour to throw it. Deep shot downfield. Tatum is there and he picks him off again. Third interception for the Bryant defense. He returns it up to the 40-yard line. Seymour about to get pulled in this game already. 42-10 is the score at the end of the first half. Bulldogs on offense. Quarterback draw. Montanez stays up somehow after that spin move. Gets the first down and more. Picks up 17 yards. From the 47-yard line. Bulldogs just running the clock out. Brandon Allen gets the carry off tackle. Breaks the tackle. Past the 30. And taken out at the 22-yard line. Another great run for Brandon Allen. He's got over 1,600 rushing yards this season. He's going to have another reception here. And he's going to accelerate to the end zone. His third receiving touchdown. Or second receiving touchdown of the game. Excuse me. Miller with a carry. Forced fumble by Stephon Okafor. What a hit. That's his third forced fumble of the season. I don't know how the running back got up after that. 
Ruben Blueberry, tackle for losses, 15th of the year. He also has 33 tackles. Seymour hit by Blueberry. Deep shot downfield, and Joe Corbett comes down with it. Best play of the day for the AM offense. At the 20 yard line, second down and 10. Seymour, play action to the end zone. He's picked off again, this time by Harper. And Harper just stays in the end zone wisely. Four picks in the game for Seymour. He came into this game with only one interception thrown all season. I'll be shocked if we see him again in this game. A.J. Jordan gets a carry, breaks a tackle, picks up eight yards, attack on five for the face mask. Actually, that'll be declined by Scott Goldberg and the Bulldogs. Here's A.J. Jordan picking up the first down anyway. Jordan fifth in the country for rushing touchdowns as a backup. He has 16 on the season. And he's going to get another carry here, picks up another first down as the Bulldogs just continue to turn the clock. Jordan again picks up another first down inside the 30-yard line. He's over 100 yards today. Second down and 10. Jordan, another carry, stays up on his feet. Jukes and gets a first down yet again. Hunt has injured his head on the play. I am not saying his first and last name together. Not doing it. Here's the third string halfback, Davis. He's going to high step for a touchdown. The third stringer getting some action and making the most of it, scoring a touchdown. It doesn't matter who the halfbacks are, apparently. This Bulldogs team is just going to run all over you. Backup quarterback is in, and he's going to be sacked. And that is Owens, the left end on the sack, non-subscriber player. Third down and long. Cy Summers destroys the quarterback, and Corbett has the reception anyway. Great job by the quarterback to stick in there, stay in the pocket, and take a big hit. Clayton stuffed as Stephon Okafor. He's got six tackles today. That gives him 48 on the season. Turner to throw it. He's hit. And that was Blueberry putting the pressure on him. Bulldogs take over on offense. A.J. Jordan gets another carry. Right side looking for contact. And he picks up another first down. 125 yards today on 14 carries. We will not see Brandon Allen again. But here's the backup fullback. Ivy getting a carry. He breaks the tackle. Picks up 12 yards on a first down. 334 yards on the ground today for Bryant. Brandon Allen, player of the game for the Bulldogs. Four total touchdowns, 130 yards, eight yards on the ground, 56 receiving. And here's A.J. Jordan again, just rolling way out to the left, staying in bounds, picks up nine yards again. Second down and one. Jordan going to pick up another first down, seven-yard carry. Ten broken tackles for him today. That is the game, folks, 56-10. to 10. The number one passing attack in the nation gets halted really the only word you can use for that. They were just completely shut down today by this Bulldog defense who was just so nasty. We didn't see Tatey and Moss at all today. That's good news for the Bulldogs. That means that the passing defense was just phenomenal. Only 140 yards of offense for the Rattlers. 130 through the air. They were 9 of 24. Four turnovers today for the Rattlers. Bryant's offense, of course, played outstanding. This game was over in the first quarter. AM stood no chance. Montanez, 6 of 8, 168 yards, 5 touchdowns, 1 pick. 141 yards on the ground for Jordan, 138 for Brandon Allen. Two scores for him. Jordan with 0 touchdowns today. Doesn't really matter too much. A fumble for the third string halfback. No big deal. Really didn't matter who had the ball today for the Bulldogs offense. They were going to score. LJ Topher only one catch today, 48 yards. Snoopy Tucker, two receiving touchdowns. Allen with two and Lester with one. Don't see Kenneth Harrington up here for pancakes. There he is with five pancakes today. That gives him 78 on the season with only one sack allowed. One of the top offensive linemen in all of college football. Oak four led the team in tackles with six. Cy Summers had three. Blueberry with two. Divine Adams only had one. Three tackles for a loss today for Joe Owens. He was outstanding. He had a sack as well. The only sack of the game. Four picks. Harper, Tatum, Capers, and Cy Summers gets his third of the season. Five deflections today. Two for Cy Summers. And believe it or not, he didn't have a pass deflection this whole season coming into this game. He now has two. Nothing on special teams today. 
No field goals, no punts, nothing special on returns. Just a very dominant performance for the Bulldogs' defense and their offense. Williams, Gray, Jackson, players of the game for the Rattlers, Allen, Montanez, and Tucker for the number seven ranked Bulldogs. Their next football game, they will be traveling to take on the Southern Jaguars out of the SEC Football Conference. Their ACC play is done. They are on to the ACC title game. Jacksonville tomorrow takes on the Alabama a and Bulldogs, and they're looking to take control of the SEC East and go on to take on Tennessee State in a rematch in the SEC Championship game. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy.